Today we're trying something new. Today's video is called Corey Chooses Colon, and you know exactly what that restaurant or food is. I do not. I'm waiting for the text from Corey to tell me that he's here to pick me up, and he chooses exactly what we're getting. I have no idea. Next time we do this feature, it'll be something I want, and he'll have no idea. <laughs> you get it. So as I wait for this text message, I wonder, what is he going to pick? You know, because we do a lot of fast food, and when stuff comes out right away, we try to get it. But what about the great Chicago restaurants, or just places here that we know we love, and we want you guys to experience it with us? Well, that's exactly what this is for. So let's start it up. He's here. Let's do it. What are we eating? Oh, you want to know now? No, or do you want to see no, it? I want to see it. Oh, you better be careful what you ask for then, baby. All right, in the car, hence the car. Excited for your surprise? Man. Oh, also, happy Cinco de Mayo. Woohoo! Um, yeah, random upload, didn't promote it at all. Here you go, a full bonus video, no strings attached. Ooh, one string attached. Oh God, is it a tampon? No, we're gonna go get it real quick. Corey said we got a little surprise he do. <laughs> Well, surprise it, dude. This thing that he's picking up is actually going to be a prop in our oh, show yeah. tomorrow at Playground Theater. If you'd like to see a show that Corey produces, Can they asked me to help out. Yeah, Tickets are below. Info Tickets producer. are below. Click that. It's in the north side of Chicago. Come hang out with us tomorrow. Can Drink. I tell them what the bit is? Yeah, yeah, do it. Dude, so. Well, no, no, we'll wait till I get yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah. And I'll tell them what's okay. the bit. Okay. Um, one second. All right, go get it. Go get it. Oh, God. Oh, nice move! That was pretty impressive. While I have you, how are you guys celebrating Cinco de Mayo? Do you celebrate it? Is there any other way to celebrate it as a white person in Chicago than making a video eating food from that culture and probably getting drunk on tequila later? Your thoughts? <laughs> okay. Forget it. If it's like beer, we'll have some. Three tequilas. Sure, sure, amigos. Hey, Peter. And he's, he has returned. And what is that? Don't get hit by a car. What is that? Happy Cinco de Mayo, Pinata. Oh. <laughs> All right, back to the important. See ya. Peace. The important part is where. Yeah, get that. Are we going? Ooh, Don't tell me. You're about to see. You're about to see. <laughs> All right, cue the driving. Motherfucking Tarascas, dude! Yeah, Tarascas, yeah. I hear you and Kylie talk about Tarascas, Tarascas, Tarascas. What's on these burritos? Steak? Steak. Bacon? And bacon. Bacon? And some cheesy ass shit. I, I asked for spicy. They have the $10 margarita there. One or two of those. You get a pitcher of margaritas from Tarascas. Night, night. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they don't play games. No, it's, uh, it's, it's the realness. Yeah. Two. Tarasca's burritos on the very first inaugural episode of Corey Chooses. Where's the roof? Acquired. How do you say acquired in Spanish? Hold on. Ad quid. Ad ad. Ad quidido. 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 Jump cut. I'm just gonna focus on the pinata. Pinata Pete. Yeah. Looks like a nice American Apparel shirt. Sure is. Uh, did you know American Apparel went out of business? Yeah, bro. How'd that even happen? I don't know. Probably selling neon leggings for 96 bucks didn't work <laughs> for too long. American Apparel, a company once responsible for setting the standard for Made in America Cool, has filed for bankruptcy. Oh, my wallet. That's where. That's from. Uh, that's from American Apparel. This is like a 10-year-old wallet. Look at falling this apart. Thing. Look at that thing. It's from American Apparel. I got this when I went to visit Molly. First time. You visited a drug? Molly Trendell. Molly Nation. Molly Nation. Dude, so this says mud and rocks and Jeeps and friends. So I worked the Jeeps. Jeep. I worked a Jeep event last weekend. I used a t-shirt cannon with a football yeah. in it to blast the shit out of my friend Derek. Check it out. Three, two, one. And then Adam, the owner of the company, blasted him again a little lower. Check that out. Hey, Adam, let's build more of a crowd. This is great. 
<laughs> Overall, great time. And you know why I freak out about Jeep? Made in Toledo. Yes. You're from Toledo, Glass City, and that's bitch. Keeping my Toledo, my little, my little hometown standing. Man, I love Toledo because of Jeeps. T Town, baby. This might be my favorite thing in Chicago to eat. That's this nuts. is a, something me and my girlfriend go to often. Rub it in. You got a girlfriend. Cool. Mmm, love. I love when they do this. Just like a bag of sauces. What was that guac and then hot sauce and sour cream? <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> There we go. What's it say? Burrito Tarasco. Mm -hmm. Open up, dude. Open up. I should have brought real silverware. Yeah, it'd be real classy. Oh my god. Bro. Look at how big that is. They do not play. What is that? Games, black though. beans have like melted. Yeah, it's black mess melted cheese. On top of black beans? On top of blacky beans. Wow. Look at the uh filled with steak and bacon. Dude, check it out. You got this rice. You got these. I mean, that looks scary, but I know it's good. You don't got to eat those beans, but this is really the important part. I could give two pieces of turd about these two things. They're good, but this is my all heavenly God. Y'all can't stab me now. I'm getting paper. Look at me now. Look at me now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fresh. What? Oh my God. Yours looks incredible. They look the same. Yeah. Both of them look incredible. <laughs> you stay there, Larry. Barrito Tarasco. Can you roll your R's? Tarasco. I choose not. Barrito Tarasco. Enough of that, more of this. <laughs> How excited and hungry I am. <laughs> this is the Burrito Tarasco. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, holy life. Happy Cinco de... <laughs> Was you... I'm just launching ingredients. Yeah, get them out of there. Oh, you're using your knife like a fancy boy. Yeah. Check this out. Oh, I'm going first. Um. Oh mm. my God. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bacon immediately. It's filled with it, bro. Is this cooked in bacon fat too? Because the actual bread tasted like bacon. Look at that cheese. Dude, it's just so amazing. I gotta get mine up so people can see. <laughs> I gotta get mine up. I always get worried I'm gonna cut through the styrofoam. Mm-hmm. Dude, this every is bite, nuts. Every bite is one of my favorite things in the world. Mm hmm. And it's real bacon, too. Oh, look at that. Tarasco's is at the corner of Clark and Wrightwood in Lincoln Park, Chicago. If you're curious, I thought there was going to be more. Let me try this rice. Mm, nice and fluffy. Mm hmm. I love good Mexican or Spanish rice. Which is, me, too. Yeah. I try to eat some of the rice just to get. I'm going to go in some of these like, weird. It's like refried beans, but they're like refried black beans almost. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how they look. They're not bad though. Mm -mm. I love beans. They grew on me over time. Yeah, me too. We were just talking about that too. Yeah, when I was growing up. Yeah, I was not about the beans. Don't life. give me beans. No, are you kidding me? It just looks so gross, you know? Dude, we should open up some of those sauces. Oh, yeah, bro. When you were in college, mm. did you ever go nuts on Cinco de Mayo? Was that a thing? Oh, God, yes. Me yeah. and Kylie met on Cinco de Mayo. You met your girlfriend on Cinco de Mayo? That's when we started, well, I met her in high school, but that's oh, when right. we started dating. Because you're both partiers? Yeah, we were both drunk at uh, El Camino. That's where everybody goes for Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, a really dope porch. Like patio, I mean. Love a good patio party. Here's your guac. Mm, thank you. A little bit more enjoyable with a plate. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that hot sauce is no joke. For real? It's good. Yeah, it's tough to eat a styrofoam thing, but you know, we do it for the series. Mm-hmm. Do it for the vine! 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 Was this going on vine? No, I wish it was. That'd be a long vine. How many vine videos would it take to make a number six with cheese video? Do it for the vine. I just woke up. Do it for the vine. It's two of them Do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. How are you feeling about this? I'm the happiest ginger boy there is. I feel like I've really earned this. I feel like I'm just shoveling it in my mouth. What do you want? Go away. You ain't getting none of my trashes, bro. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I ain't about that. Oh. Sharing with random cars life. I should probably take a break to breathe. Why? Because I've been chowing down, and in the process, I'm gonna explain. Explain it. We got a show tomorrow. All right, so it's the day for Cinco de Mayo. Yep. So you know those little mini booze bottles? You yeah. You know this. Yeah, no. These fools. You can get filled with whatever, like Jim Bean and stuff, or whatever, those little tiny Beam. Bottles. That's what I said. Mm. 
I thought you said Bean. No, not Bean. It's Jim Bean. Jim Bean. Jack Daniels and all that nonsense. Anything. I bought a bunch of plastic one of those on Amazon. And I'm filling them with tequila and some other stuff, maybe Malort or something. And I'm putting them all in this pinata. And then at the end of our show, it's a BYOB show. So it's all the show's called Buzz. It's all based off getting hammered, basically. We have stand up and improv and stuff come on. And at the end, we always do a big drinking thing. It's really good for you. And so we're going to have people from the crowd come out and smoke this thing with a bat until it breaks and then let the crowd go wild and pick up as much of the mini booze bottles as they can. It's going to be dope. I'm already going to predict that the first swing is going to break it open. Yeah, I hope so. The quicker we get to the booze, the better. <laughs> I don't want people sitting there taking wax at it. That gets really boring really quick. It takes more than two people. I'm going to be mad. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Once again, tickets can be purchased at the link below. Come get drunk with us tomorrow. It is going to be fun. And then I'm performing improv comedy at 10 o'clock. You can come to that show. Dude, you're like a surge of being able to hold that and cut it and... I'm gonna try now that I got some space so these wonderful humans can... Gonna make a one-eighth incision below the bean belt. Oh, nice. Surgery was a success, Mrs. Taraska. You're cutting open her husband, or this <laughs> yeah. is Mrs. Taraska. Oh, I'm sorry your husband's dead. You have to marry me now. It's the only way I'm ever gonna find true love. If it's someone's husband dies, yeah. you're only going to be able to marry a widow. Man, which is weird because I'm a surgeon and I can't find a woman. Isn't that why people go into medicine? To yeah, right? get Yeah, except for my sister. She's a doctor, but I don't think that was her reasoning. Oh, dude, this is so good. I never would have thought bacon in this. Oh my God, it's the best, dude. It would taste so correct. Mm-hmm. Like everybody likes bacon, but... I love their steak, that little... It's good. Cubed up steak they got. Yeah. And then you melt that cheese on top of it. It's bomb. Mm -mm -mm. One of my all-time faves. I like blacking out on Mexican food. Dude, this kid loves to black out. No, I don't. Every time I go out with you, dude, I feel like it's about to be a fun night. <laughs> Till I die. Me and Kyle were just talking about that. I feel like every time I'm end up at a 4 a.m. bar. I'm there and I'm wasted. Mm -hmm. If we go out, if we just kick it and play FIFA, obviously, different story, but. Yeah. I think you live one life. Mm-hmm. I'm with you, man. And you know what? As long as you're not hurting other people. <laughs> Look at this, looks like a lasagna. Mm. Y'all want some Mexican lasagna? It's the real bacon, man. This is so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thank you guys for being concerned. Those of you who noticed, it's healing nicely. Some of you asked why my elbow was all screwed up in Tuesday's video. Oh, yeah, I was surprised people noticed that. That was impressive. I fell on my boosted board going way too fast. <laughs> I've since slowed down. You done? Ah, that was good. Yeah, I'm done. Owned it. Destroyed it. Oh, you did eat it all. Yeah, bro. I'm just impressed you could get to it all. In your defense, I did have it on my lap, which made it easier to handle. I got to use two hands. You're trying to use one hand. Mm -hmm. Corey's done. It's down there. Here's where I'm at. You didn't eat all your beans and everything though, did you? No, I ate almost all my rice, but I did not really go much after the beans. Oh, like an athlete. Mm -hmm. It's like you're doing some sort of power sport over here. I am. And you know you def definitely just got some people pretty sexualized. <laughs> I love getting people sexualized. Which might be a new word that I just made up. Get I hope so. Make someone sexualized. We worked out today, so I feel okay. <laughs> Man, this is a heart stopper. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Taraska, he's doing well. Gosh darn, it's good though. You know what, there, it's uh, pretty good, you know. Uh, you know, it's a little more expensive than maybe somebody wants to pay, but... Uh, Dude, you know how blacked out white people are about to get today without knowing what today's about? They have, it's kind of like how white people get drunk on St. Patrick's Day and Same have no thing. idea. Same thing. Can I Snapchat this to my baby? Hold on, I gotta Snapchat this shit to someone. And they're actually white for that. Right, right. Here's a question for the audience. For the drinkers of our, of our fans, what day of the year would you say, historically, in your life, you've been consistently the drunkest? Some people love the day before Thanksgiving. Everybody goes home and yeah, it's the I biggest bar night of the year. I do that. Other people go nuts on St. Patrick's Day. I do that. <laughs> Some people just get, like, sh based on Christmas. Halloween, 4th of July, New Year's Eve, If there's New a Year's holiday, day, I'm drunk at it. <laughs> Guaranteed. Because right. all my family drinks, so if it's a holiday, we're getting hammered. Right. And then I just love an excuse to party. Yeah, it's like it's like a motivator. Have you ever not partied on a holiday? No, I always party on a holiday. I was going to say, can you name one single holiday that you're just like, no, I do just hand out candy to kids. Like, no, I'm getting blacked out, bro. On Halloween? I don't, I don't normally get drunk on Columbus Day. Oh, you don't know what it's all about then. You do not. You got to go. You gotta, he was a butcher. Yeah, you got to get drunk and take advantage of an indigenous person. <laughs> That's what you do on Columbus Day. Oh, my God. That's, hey, I'm not the one who started this country. Or I him. Yeah. I didn't find this place. Right. Not that you know of. Some people have lived multiple lives. Ooh. I feel like I've gained 10 pounds. Yeah, at least. Last bite. I'll tell you what, I ain't eating the rest of the day because I gotta start drinking. 
<laughs> Bro, why are you walking so close to my car with your big fat ass? <laughs> the biggest face I've ever seen in my life. Fat she fan. looks like she's keeping a fucking flounder in there like a damn pelican, bro. That's how big her second chin was, dog. <laughs> I'm sure she's a great person. <laughs> Actually, no, I mean, why would I assume that? I don't know anything about her. I was just having that discussion with Tim. Whether or not people are good people. Oh. Because this girl I was walking, oh, you'll, you'll, you'll believe this. <laughs> we, were, we were taking the cinnamon for a walk and this other person came up and she looked just so psycho weird. She starts going, you gotta wag your tail to meet another friend. You gotta <laughs> wag your tail to meet another friend. That angers me. Dude, right? And first off, I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to make new friends. I don't want you people in my neighborhood to be talking I to I have you. enough friends. I have enough friends and you know, I gotta make small talk with 200 people a day at work. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to make small talk with somebody afterward, bro. Right. So I'm trying to just be like, huh, yeah, uh, keep going. And I'm basically, I try, I basically don't make eye contact and I just keep on walking with cinnamon. Yeah. And Kylie's like, oh my God, I can't, you're so rude. I'm like, bro, I can't make small talk with another human being. And Tim goes, <laughs> Tim goes, everybody's got something to bring to the table. And I go, no, everyone does not have something to bring to the yeah, table. Yeah, I agree with you. If, if you have to imagine intelligence is on a bell curve, right? You know, you got your like 10%, 10% average on this curve, right? The same is probably true for personalities. 10% of people are probably the most gouge your eyes, boring human beings. Yeah, I'd say a higher percentage, but okay. Yeah, and then there's a weird inc like bell curve, curve of average people. Hate to tell you, the average person is boring as shit. They like Big Bang Theory, bro. <laughs> That's a boring person. And then you got a 10% yeah. of people who are like, I want to have a conversation with you. And I told Tim, I go, I got to imagine the lady going, wag your tail and you can have a friend. It's not going to give me the most stimulating of conversation. She's the type of person that is just like humored by very basic things. Most basic. Probably thinks How I Met Your Mother is one of the best shows on television. Guaranteed. Guaranteed she feels I'm going to say something unpopular to maybe a lot of you. How I Met Your Mother, not a good TV not show. Not that great of a TV show. No, boring. Better than, I got to say it's better than Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory and Two and a Half Men. Or uh, Two Broke Girls. <laughs> right, but it's definitely not a Curb Your Enthusiasm or a Rick and Morty. Yeah, or, or a, Seinfeld, or a the Seinfeld, the greatest or... written show in history of time. Careful with that, we need to use that on Friday, Saturday. What do you think, what do you think we should do? This is a kind of a new series. I know, I don't know if we should rate it. Maybe only the other person rates it? Yeah, I like that. That'd be kind of fun. I like, like that, when it's my turn, obviously I'm gonna give it a five. All, everything it's that I choose. your greatest thing in Chicago to right. eat. Right, everything we pick we're gonna give fives, but. <sighs> That's kind of fun, it looks like the spotlight's on old Shawnee boy, huh? <laughs> Oh. Don't get sunburned. Out of five. <laughs> Nacho Libres. My, uh, yes. How do you rate? No, say it. Out of five. Nacho Libres. Uh-huh. How many Nacho Libres do you give the Tarascas burrito? I'm gonna give that Tarascas burrito a four point nine. Oh that, my boy! That thing was the real deal, dude. dude the bacon it. mixed in with the very tender steak. They douse it, douse it in sauce, so every bite is just juicy. The rice is great, that like mushy black beans, like the perfect consistency with it. It's gigantic. 4.9, the only reason I'll give it a .1 off, it's because I don't want you to be feeling like you did the perfect thing. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you gotta leave room for, who knows, there's gonna be other stuff. Right, I could eat something that the moon made. That would, sounds gross, <laughs> that sounds gross. Moon pie. They already make those. Yeah, they do. That's also the dumbest thing Check I've ever said in my life. That is so vile. <laughs> but hey, on Cinco de Mayo, you have a few drinks, and bring a girl home and do that to her. <laughs> Ew, lick her ears. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going between them. Is that what you're doing? Of course. Oh, I couldn't that. see though. Eat it, bitch! It's always good! That's about to blow people's minds. <laughs>you guys enjoyed these uh the these reviews now you're at the last 20 seconds of the video you're gonna see our patreon p somewhere over in this area yep, yep. uh go ahead and like and share and comment and subscribe it was dope <laughs> <laughs> that burrito, you all like that burrito dude damn damn enjoy your single mile see you losers on tuesday <laughs>